Oh, and it's wet. Oh, yeah. Woo! Get shitty. Doesn't look like much, but this is some good trail riding right near me. We're gonna go out, see how dry the trails are, and check out the new bike. This is gonna be the first trail ride on the Fuliax 9.8, and we'll give a quick brief on it. Karak made it using the Thule Raceway Pro, which is a pretty decent rack. Not the cheapest one around, but the one which just mounts onto the back of the car. It's actually really nice. Take this up. Don't scratch me. Honestly, we see more damage on bikes from car rack than anything. Okay, let's do this. Oh, first ride of the season. Feels good to be back. I'm gonna pass on the first turn. It's always wet. Definitely rolls faster than the Remedy. This should be the wettest section. And it should have installed fenders. And definitely compared to the Remedy I was riding last year, which was a 27 and a half, this 29 definitely goes a lot faster. Just rolling speed, you can feel it. The snow at least keeps your bike clean. Definitely don't seem to notice the 29s yet. Feels taller, but apart from being higher from the ground, I don't really feel any difference in ride. benefit to the 29s being higher so actually raise my bottom bracket I feel a little more confident um, with getting less pedal strikes touching the ground which with the remedy you have to watch out for thank you One of the better views. Oh yeah. No issues. Oh. Took that a little wide. Climb coming up, so we gotta try it. Let's clear. Huge climb. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's go.
Yeah, even in situations on that top of that climb, there's a big rock right in the center of the trail. And normally with the remedy, I don't know if it's suspension combined with the wheel size, I'd have to tie my pedals to uh, get over it. And in this one, so much more clearance. Just keep that momentum going. Getting a little slimy down here, even in a dry summer. Yeah, take that corner easy. Jump is primed to be jumped, but there's a tree right in the aiming. And if you saw the video of me returning a lost dog, this is the trail it chased me down on. Um, the owners didn't even come and pick it up, but check that video out. Pretty entertaining. Right here, I am absolutely terrified. Like I'm taking it a little slow, expecting it to be muddier, slippier, but every corner is just dry, tacky. Some of them, someone's done some major trail clearing here. This is always a double track fire road access, but over the past couple of years, it has got pretty ingrown. And I'd say fairly recently, someone came down here and cleared this out with a brush cutter. It'll be interesting to see um, if this is clear. I think it's pretty, pretty steep valley, so it's unlikely it's gonna be fully clear. But the fact that it's completely bone dry here, it's not even damp, I have no idea. This will be the first potential jumps I hit on this thing. So far it feels pretty natural and good. Oh, and it's wet. Oh yeah. Woo! Sketch city. Definitely feels good jumping. Doesn't feel big. Suspension is dialed on this, so. Like, it is dialed. I don't know if it's that through shaft or what, but. Through shaft, bigger wheels. Fit of both. Some dirt in the mouth. Looks like this has all been cleared as well. Oh yeah.
it's always a fast, fast section. I can't remember whether it was dry or not. I mean, definitely rolling speed. When you're already up to speed, it's fast. You can definitely tell the momentum. And then same with the acceleration. I can feel it's a little slower for the first two revolutions, but after that, it's uh, she's rolling. I do not know if I've hit the 52 ring yet. I doubt it, even on that steep climb. Test it on this mellow one. Oh god no. Oh Jesus. Who the hell needs that? I don't even know if I was in it. Yeah, it was. That's a really low gear. I am not 100 percent sure when that would be needed, I guess for beginners and maybe insanely long climbs where you're going really slow, but Interesting they put it on this level of bike. just finished my inaugural ride on the Fuel X 9.8, the bike I'm gonna be riding for this year. So that's why I look like the way I do. Uh, first impressions, honestly, I think I might be converting to 29 permanently. This bike is absolutely astounding. The suspension is dialed, like Trek has really finessed it. The through shaft on the rear end makes it super smooth. I had it in the middle setting, kind of the blue ticker thing for trail in there. And then on the front, it even has like a halfway stopper now. So I actually had it in the middle there the entire ride. Still felt plush and soft, but it was super comfy to ride. The 29th rolled super fast. Definitely a teeny bit slow on the acceleration, but once you're up to speed, it was so fast to keep your momentum, to gain speed when you're already rolling at speed, really fast. The bars I think are a little smaller than what I'm used to, and it actually felt good. I wasn't down like I no downside to that and um, potentially I should have married maybe cut mine in 20 mils anyway with this bike you have the GX drive train on it it does have that 52 tooth on it I only went into it once as you'll see to kind of test it it is super low I have no idea when you'll need that gear but maybe for beginners it's kind of helpful or super long climbs but I don't see a big use for it and um, personally I think I'd rather go back to the 50 but at least I have the option to go there in the future or keep it as is. So the carbon frame with wheels and uh, the carbon bar, super lightweight, super super comfy to ride, and um, really agile. The 29 wheels didn't feel too big. I definitely felt higher off the ground than I did with my Remedy, but honestly, it just kind of made more clearance over rocks and obstacles on the trail where I'd have to time not to pedal hit on the Remedy. That's probably a combination of the higher bottom bracket, the la lack of kind of slackness to it, and the suspension is a bit more trail kind of tuned, so it's gonna be a little harder impact, so it's not gonna take a bit more sag to it that the Remedy would have. Kind of hard to explain, but so far this is a good bike. I'll definitely have to take it out to jump trails and see how that's like, but otherwise, uh, let's keep an eye out that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe down below, comment whether you think I'm gonna enjoy this bike or if you already have it. Otherwise, thanks. And honestly, the color, now I see it in nature, is superb.